Hi Fit Mama, this is Jen here. I am gonna film a quickie video of core breathing um, while I am just wearing a sports bra so that you can see the way I'm tightening the belt around my hips. Just to clarify a little bit more because I know the core breathing can get confusing, so I'm just gonna talk you through it and I'm gonna have you watch my core at the same time, okay? So, to give you a better angle, and hopefully this lighting is okay. Unfortunately, I'm in a hotel room and the lighting is kind of crappy here. Okay, so if you can see right now my core part here, and I pulled my pants really low so that you could see the lower part of my core, because this is the part, at least in my abs section, and post baby, it tends to be that we use our rectus abdominis and we're breathing a lot, so our diaphragm in that area up here gets kind of work, but it's down here that I find the mummy tummy or the most of the area that people want to flatten. So here's my hip bones, I'm kind of sticking them out here for you. So you can be able to see that I'm gonna be tightening a belt really, really low across my hips. It's not about sucking your belly button in, because that gives you that kind of crunch thing and it actually pushes down on your pelvic floor. This is sucking in across here, okay? So when it comes to core breathing, I want you to first think about inflating your belly. So a lot of people don't even want to do this because they say, oh, my belly sticks out. Well, that's okay. Your belly's supposed to stick out. And if you watch your kids breathe, you'll see that their bellies grow as they inhale and they shrink and flatten as they exhale. And that's the natural breathing. That's using your diaphragm. That's called belly breathing. And that's using the deep inner core. Okay, so from here, I'm going to inhale. Now, one of the key things while you're inhaling on a core breath is to actually lower down and let go of that blueberry. So we talk about picking up the blueberry as you exhale, but it's really, really key to let the blueberry go and let your pelvic floor completely relax. And this happens as you inhale. So as you inhale, you expand in the diaphragm, in the rib cage, under your bra strap, I usually say. So think about expanding across here and inflating and let the blueberry go. Then at the end of your inhale, I want you to think about picking up that blueberry from the opening of your vagina, your anus, or if you're having a lot of incontinence issues, think about picking up the blueberry from your urethra, so the area where you're actually peeing that helps strengthen those muscles around that area. So usually I say vagina, but you can do it with your whole pelvic floor or you can really focus on one area depending on what your needs are. So inhale, expand, let go of the blueberry. Then at the end of the inhale, pick up the blueberry, pull it up and as you exhale, tightening the belt. Imagine the belt coming from around the back wrapping in front and sealing here, low, low, low. Imagine a wire between these two bones and you're cinching the wire together or you're tying it up really tight. Okay, so I'm talking here, but I'm gonna get myself out of the way and try and hopefully you can see. So expanding and picking up the blueberry, pulling it up and Blowing forcefully out of your mouth is key. You blow forcefully and you connect with your pelvic floor and you have more force across your TVA. So when I'm checking people if they're doing this correctly, I'm having them lie down. I put my hands about two inches in, one inch down, right from their bone, and I hold my fingers right there. And as they're breathing, I can feel if they're tightening their belt because that's the part of the TVA that actually flexes and brings these two sides together, brings these two sides together and flattens that area right along the midline. So that area, if you have a diastasis, this area just tends to be bigger in the middle. So that is just your linea alba. It's just a piece of fascia. So your abdominals are separated a little bit more and that's just your rectus. That's just the ones that you can see right here. So you're inhaling, expanding, letting the blueberry go, and you're exhaling, tightening the belt and flattening your belly. You can see, I'll do kind of like a side angle. Inhale, and then pick up the blueberry, 
and you can exhale. Yes, this part kind of goes in, but I'm specifically focused on flattening this area here. So you can see from the side, I mean, everybody's body is different and my body is completely healed from erectus. I don't have erectus abdominis. Um, ab separation as a diastasis recti. But here, yeah, everybody has belly fat. That's the thing. No matter what position you get into, sure, I have skin loose hanging. I have all these things. That's not the point. It's to heal the inner, deep, deep inner core and have that functional. So you can even have a diastasis. You can even have that separation. Um, and you can feel for tension along the midline. And if you have tension, then you likely have a more functional core. So if you're years, years postpartum and you still think you have a diastasis, you may very well have a functional core, but you wanna create more functionality and that is through the core breathing. So no matter what move you're doing, let's say you're doing a squat, you're gonna inhale, lift and relax, sep like let that blueberry go. Yeah, you're gonna have abdominal fat coming everywhere. That's just the way our bodies are designed. Then you're picking up the blueberry, you're pulling it up and you're tightening that belt. That flattening low goes with every single move. So every workout you're doing is actually a core workout because you're always using your core. Every time you walk is a core workout. Every time you breathe, it's a core workout. So get breathing, get your core back into function and feel really good just the way your body is right now. It doesn't have to look any other way. It doesn't have to change in all ways for you to be satisfied with it. It's about loving your body right now and you loving the body you have right now, you'll take care of it. You're more likely to feed it well. You're more likely to love it, nurture it, embrace it, feel pleasure, sexual pleasure, enjoy your partner. That stuff is important. Your partner thinks you're beautiful just the way you are. So please embody that, be that. You are beautiful the way you are and your deep inner core wants to function properly. Have a great day.